I'm here at uh, Dell with Mark Shuttleworth. Mark, how are you doing? Good, Bob. How are you? Doing well. So you're here today for a, a series of meetings, um, and you are the founder of Ubuntu. Still, yes. Still, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, actually, one thing is, you it was about a year ago that you turned over the, the reins to, uh, Jane. to Jane as the CEO? Jane Silver, who, uh, who has been CEO at Canonical for, uh, since, since our founding, um, stepped in as CEO, is now firmly uh, uh, has the reins in hand and, uh, and is, is leading the company phenomenally well. And she's uh, my new boss, so I consider myself a lucky guy. And, and you're, you're okay, you're, you're feeling okay with that, no withdrawal symptoms? Well, I'm also chairman of the board, so we, oh, have, okay. this, we have this interesting Mexican standoff, which so far has been productive and, uh, and constructive. But, but what it's really done is allowed me to focus on the pieces that I'm very passionate about, the design of our products. You know, I really think we have to take the GNU Linux stack and move it beyond the idea of uh, a sort of, sort of uh, vaguely collaborating, co collaborating pieces uh, and turn it into something that feels more engineered, more designed, more purposeful. Uh, our work in Unity is one expression of that, um, and uh, it's you know it's it's work that I think is really important to to, to show the world what free software can be, uh, and uh, so, so I'm quite proud of of the initial results that we've seen there, um, and also the work that we're doing on the cloud, um, which again is all about reshaping the way people think they will consume GNU Linux. Um, and making it easier, making uh, it easier to amplify the effects of good skills, uh, making it uh, easier to get stuff done at scale, uh, you know, cost effectively. So speaking of the cloud, um, we are working together, Dell and Canonical, and this week we are um, announcing, or not announcing, but it, it will be available. The Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud yeah. is going to be available on Dell to, to be sold. Uh, just can you give a couple words on that? Sure. Well, I, I think the real key is a combination of open standards and open source. You know, if you look at the web, the history of the web, we were, we were phenomenally privileged that the, that the creators of the web took a, a, a moral high ground approach. They wanted it to be crisp, clean, open standards that were d defined by consensus uh, amongst sort of visionary, forward-thinking people. Uh, and they wanted multiple open implementations of those standards. Uh, now in the cloud, at the infrastructure layer, which is what UEC is all about, we, we don't yet have that. However, we do have some de facto standards, I think really set by Amazon EC2. Um, and uh, UEC is, is all about finding the best reference open source implementation of those APIs, those infrastructure cloud APIs, and making that available to everybody. So with Dell, we've now managed to get that to the point where it's literally cloud in a box. Uh, off Dell.com or through your Dell um, uh, sales consultant, you'll be able to um, order a, a cloud which is conforms to the same set of APIs that you're probably using out there on Rackspace or on uh, Amazon EC2. You can manage it, you can, you can uh, organize it using that same sort of framework. The workloads should be you know, common, you should be able to design and build a workload that you can deploy on your Dell uh, cloud solution, a and that same workload should be able to be deployed on Amazon or Space. So while, while we don't yet have the same sort of formal standards process, we are getting to the point where there are open source implementations of a de facto standard, and I think that's a very constructive first step, and, and the, the, the feedback it seems to be that that's really what people want in private and hybrid cloud computing. Very cool. Now, speaking of, of Rackspace and, and open standards, another uh, initiative that we're both involved with is OpenStack. Can you talk a little bit about that and how Canonical plays in there? Right. I think this is an example of, the, of a healthy dynamic in open source. From a, from a strategic point of view, remember, what, what we look for is a de facto or formal standard and multiple open source reference implementations of that. Um, and OpenStack essentially is stepping up to be a second open source implementation of a standard set of APIs, the Amazon EC2 APIs. They do also have some additional APIs, and I think to a certain extent that's some healthy competition emerging. What's important to us is that uh, people can deploy OpenStack and then they can look at it through the same set of APIs that they can, they can look at a eucalyptus-based uh, cloud and the same set of APIs that they can look at an Amazon or, or Rackspace-based uh, 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 cloud. Um, so we're starting to see that those, those essential characteristics come into place, an, an effective standard and um, uh, multiple open source implementations. The OpenStack uh, community is really vibrant. Uh, we had both Eucalyptus and OpenStack at the last UDS in Florida. Um, we, will, we will have both uh, OpenStack and Eucalyptus-based cloud options in, uh, in Ubuntu 
uh, 40 or I don't know, in, in April, and uh, and we'll have to see, you know, how they how they shake out from a competitive perspective. Uh, the the uh, the really important thing, though, is that we, we're starting to get some sort of sense of standardization at the infrastructure level in cloud computing. Um, and uh, I think both Eucalyptus and OpenStack are, are going to be central to that process. Excellent. Well, it's interesting to see how this all develops. Mark Shuttleworth, thank you so much. Nice to see you, Martin. Cheers.